Hi there. So for this video, I'm going to not duplicate, but kind of mimic one that I saw in one of the groups that we have. It was gorgeous. It was um, three different colors, but it was like this. Not all over. It was like color block almost. And it was so pretty. It had um, white little peaks in it. And I got some new um, alcohol inks. It's um, from Amazon. I've bought several things from this company before. I have the epoxy dye from this same company. Um, but this is their alcohol ink. Uh, this is what it, what the front looks like and what the back looks like. So I will say, word of warning, these things explode when you pierce the top. They come completely sealed, kind of like your glue does. So there's like no opening right there. Um, so I took a needle and I poked it and even having a paper towel around my needle, it still got all over me. So just a little dot hole will do the trick, but it explodes. So FYI, word to the wise, we're about to find out the intensity of the colors together. I will say it came with all those colors, but it came with a giant white. It's just over an ounce where these are about a third of an ounce. So that's kind of nice because I definitely go through a lot of white myself. So I've got 30 milliliters, cc's, whatever you want to call it, uh, mixed up here. Not 30, 20. We're not going to use all of this but I like to have too much rather than not enough. It has a lot of air bubbles in it and I'm not super worried about that right this second. I feel like a good bit of them are probably just gonna pop in just a minute. You don't want this literally dripping off of your cup but you don't want it thin either. If it's too thin, it won't flow. You won't get the movement that you want. And I actually don't want a ton of movement for this one. Maybe she'll let me use a picture of hers in this video to uh, show reference. I'll ask her. I'm doing different colors. She did, um, it was, purple and like a mustard orange almost. Not not yellow, but not full-blown orange either. I don't really know how to describe it. I think the bottom was teal. It's colors that I wouldn't have put together, but man, they were so pretty. For this one, I'm going to use pink, blue, and purple just because it's for me, most likely. In a minute, I'm gonna put my mask on. So uh, it will get muffled and a little bit loud, but I'll give you a little warning so you can turn down your volume if you need to. <clears throat> I got a new mask slash respirator yesterday, but I'm not ready to try it just yet. I don't know how extra muffly it'll be. I'm gonna go with what I know. Make sure you don't have any dry spots on here. Any dry spots will just result in like no color or maybe color, but no movement. It's pretty obvious if there's a dry spot. My epoxy is nice and thick right now, not because it's been sitting here, but because it's not hot in the shed right now. Kind of unseasonably cool today. If your epoxy is hot, like not hot from curing, but hot from uh, temperature, <clears throat> you'll get a little bit more movement without as much heat, typically. All right, so I'm gonna let that cool, or level not cool, good grief. Just kind of 
I let that cool, uh, level, and I set it again. <laughs> I'll let these bubbles pop too in just a second. When you're working with epoxy, make sure you're wearing protective equipment. I've seen some people that just do their bare hands and I personally have reactions. And I was dumb in the beginning and did not use a mask when I was heating the epoxy. Not smart at all. Uh, and I had reactions for it. I got what was coming to me because I was not smart at all. So we're just going to do a bunch of purple right in here. Then I'll do the pink and then I'll do the blue, bottom third and the bottom of the cup. I'm not going to go all over like I normally do, kind of that scatter effect. Holy cow, that spreads really quickly. It's pretty color though. This is called uh, Tyrian blue or Tyrian purple. Why can I not talk? What is wrong with me? I've had two cups of coffee. This should not be a thing. Maybe that's the problem. Okay, it is a little harder to come out sometimes. Like it's... Mm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Holy moly. Uh, try not to let air get underneath there. That was not pleasant. It literally shot out like a water gun. I was not expecting that. Pretty much just filling the top here. I don't really like this bottle. I hate to say that, but... It literally is like burping, pouring. I'm... Mm, okay. Maybe it's a learning curve. I'll give it a little bit of practice, but holy moly. So I'm just gonna do a ton of this and then I'll add my white to all three colors in a little bit. That one seemed to cover a lot easier without as much hassle. I'm gonna leave that little spacing there. I'm not really worried about that because whenever I give this vertical movement in a second, It'll kind of all blend together pretty good. And if not, I'll add some more. Oh yeah, that color was called Violet Red. It's very pink though. It's not really red. This one's called Prussian Blue. I believe Prussian Blue came from the attempt to create a medication or something. They figured out how to get <clears throat> something out of a plant and do some kind of chemical process. It's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, see? Mm -hmm. not happy about that. I do feel like I need a little bit more purple though. I'm going to add, obviously not right there, I don't. I'm going to do a little drop right there. Right there. Let's go to town with the white now. A big old bottle. Hopefully this doesn't squirt out like the other did. Kind of hoping that the color of the white, yeah, like that, how it's blending in. I was kind of hoping it would do that. 
And then for more white, I'll just add more to it. Just adding lots of white because of the the look I'm going for needs plenty of white. Whoop, double tap. Whoa, okay. <gasps> All right, so that's all I'm gonna do there. Actually, let me throw a little bit on the bottom so I can have some swirls on the bottom too. Not too much. I should have taken it a little easier on the white. It's okay. It's almost like the white floats or something, but maybe it's just because I put too much. I want more of those swirls like this right here. I definitely went a little too heavy handed with the white, but that's okay. I think we can salvage it. So I'm gonna put my mask on now and I've got my heat gun handy. I'm just gonna use this guy right here. Got it off of Amazon. I can post the link, but really any embossing tool, embossing gun, like from the scrapbook section, that lasted me probably a year. But I got this one when my embossing gun died. All right, so it's gonna get a little bit loud for a second. I just wanna do a little bit of heat because I need movement. You don't want it so close that you're burning it. I'm gonna keep this away from the camera. I've got it about four or five inches away. All right, that ought to do it. Make sure you put somewhere that that doesn't melt anything. It's hot. This one actually came with a stand. I just keep forgetting to unpack it. So we're going to go up and down with this now. Make sure that your uh, cup is nice and secure. If it's not on something grippy, probably gonna lose it. I just kinda want these colors to kinda blend well and make the little waves in there. When you're doing this, make sure that you're mindful of where your epoxy is because it will fall right off. So I was protected surface is a good idea. I like to kind of leave it where the uh, bottom kind of collects for a little bit. have as much movement on my epoxy as I need so I'm going to just heat up a few spots specifically right here. I'm going to get that moving a little bit better starting to break up now which is what I wanted Oh, 
we're just kind of manipulating it. You can see the epoxy just kind of sliding slowly, drifting. Got a bald spot right there. I'm going to let this kind of hang tight this way for a little bit so it can collect right there a little. There we go. That's pretty good. When it gets too runny, you'll end up with like a big little blob right there. Almost had like a little, reminds me of a marble painting. Like when you put a bunch of acrylic paints in a paper plate and roll some marbles around. Kind of what that reminds me of. I always feel like I end up with one side that's extra swirly and pretty, and then another side that's not. Or like one whole area that's completely smooth, <laughs> kind of like that. These are those dry spots I mentioned. I think that might be from me picking this up without gloves on last night. That's okay. Like I said, we're just manipulating it. That's all I'm going to do for the next few minutes. I'm just going to manipulate, manipulate. Okay, so I've got it manipulated. You can see this stripe right here. I was totally lifting my turner not realizing that this uh, edge of parchment was touching it. And so it literally cut a rut in there. These little swirly things, that's where I dabbed it with my glove just to kind of blend it a little bit. It actually gives it a pretty cool effect in the long run. Did that here. I didn't do that to the blue anywhere, but I did it uh, in the pink in a few spots. Overall, I like the way it looks, but this isn't what I wanted, which is the story of pretty much every single ink cup that I do, I think. That's all right. It's unique. That's the nice thing about inks is they're all different. So I'm going to let this turn for a few hours. So here we are a couple of hours later. It's pretty set up. I'm going to let it continue turning just for good measure. It kind of creeped up a little bit here. And creep down a little bit there, but that's okay. It's still really pretty. But it just gives you another reference of what you can do with alcohol inks. But overall, it's still a really pretty turnout. Just not exactly what I was going for. Um, and I am hoping to get permission to post the pictures of the before and after. Like when the inks were dropped and after it morphed. Because you can see how much it changes while it turns just waiting for her to answer back so stay tuned you might see those in just a minute at the end of this video I'm hoping so but if you have any questions leave it in the comments please subscribe if you're interested in what I do if you like watching me screw up a lot I mean it's kind of entertaining <laughs> so anyways you have a good one and stay safe out there